Hi and welcome to the VRH install for the One Wheel GT. What you want to do first is remove your foot pad, any bumper, and then the brackets on the side, you're going to undo those and uh, release the wheel. So you want to take the wheel out and get your board to this state. So no brackets on the side, no foot pad, no bumper. And that's where we're going to start. Now in your kit, you'll get a left and a right bracket. The one with the cutout here, this is the motor's cable side. So this is the right side. The one with the unbroken uh, slot here is the left side. And to attach these, we have these custom made high strength steel screws. So I'm gonna put these on and then we'll go from there. Now you'll notice that when you first receive the chill, these um, VRH units, this position corresponds to stock ride height. And that's where you wanna start. So leave that there while you're doing this. Now when you're putting on the left one, the wire's gonna run right through here. Okay, and you don't have to tighten those on that tight right now. You can, you can tighten them up. Use the long end of your five millimeter Allen key here. And I'm just gonna snug them up right now and we'll go back and tighten them up. Okay, now the brackets are installed. You can see the wires running through there. Now let's get our wheel. So I found that the easiest way to install the wheel uh, is to first have your motor cable on the right hand side like this. Make sure the notch is pointing up on your axle. And then we're just going to drop this right down over like so, so that we're on the axle on both sides. Okay, so once the wheel is, or the axle is into the brackets here on both sides, um, don't plug the motor in yet. We're gonna do that later. Now what you're going to do is remove this screw from each side and that's going to allow the wheel to pivot up and we can get our main bolts in. You want to kind of support the board as you take out the other side. And now if you'll see if I gently push down, I can access these screws now. And this is why we don't plug the motor cable in first because we could pull it out. All right, so go ahead, take the M8 by 20 flathead screws that are included with your kit. Okay, now we've got our screws in on both sides. Go ahead and really tighten those up using your Allen key. Lift the board back up like this. And I'm going to put the adjuster screw back into the stock position on both sides. Okay, now we're at the stock position. Now one thing to keep in mind that is important is if you have a stone cold chiller on your axle, um, when you're lowering the board over the wheel and putting it back on, it's possible you could scratch the face of this. So it's a good idea to take some packing tape or some other kind of tape and put that over the front of this so that when you install, the VRH doesn't scratch it as it goes over this face and that'll keep it all nicely uh, unscratched. And then you can remove the tape after you're at this point. Okay, so the final step is to attach the motor cable. Okay, so now we're going to just attach the motor cable here and make sure to click the locking ring, okay? All right, and then we're done. When changing heights, just be careful that you don't over rotate the wheel. So for instance, if I'm wanting to go to a higher setting here, or lower setting I mean. I'm just going to push down on this gently 
and I don't want to go so far past the uh, last setting here that it starts to really pull on the cable. So anyway, just make it make your movement slow. Okay, and go to the setting you want. In this case, two down from stock. set. Now, you just want to make sure that the motor cable is still nicely attached. You have enough slack. These are the M8 by 20 millimeter countersunk screws that you use to attach the VRH to your axle. Now, these are not the screws here. These are the custom screws that attach to the bracket, but inside what attaches to the swing arm are these. And again, remember to use some blue thread lock on these so that they don't come loose on you. So again, just be careful when you're adjusting this and you're going to the lowest setting. Don't go past the last hole here because you're gonna put strain on the motor cable down here. Just take it slow, adjust slowly, put your screw in and you'll be good to go. Have fun out there.